and I ordered me a new comforter. So let's open it. For the you guys that want to know what I bought, I bought this. And it is the softest blanket ever. These are my favorite kind of blankets. And yes, I will wear this or use this all year long. And I got it on sale for, I think, $45. Great purchase. Feel it. It's nice. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get rid of my one upstairs because if I didn't tell you guys, um, I took it to the laundromat and washed it because it's huge. And I burnt the fibers. And now it's kind of like rough on the outside. We won't be making a mistake with this one. I just want to show you. Who is home and she is sleeping. Um, I've got quite literally two hours of sleep, guys. Um, my knees just cracked, you hear that? I literally have not slept at all this whole, since this whole thing has happened. I've slept like crap. So, I'm off today. Thank God, it's a blessing. I was able to go pick her up this morning and gonna keep an eye on her. Uh, she's on amoxicillin, she's on a, like a diuretic, she's on a heart pill, which the heart pill she's going to be on for the rest of her life, maybe a different one, but, um, that's kind of like my update with you, pretty much ruled out, she does have congestive heart failure, so, I, give me your, if you guys have had animals and all that, and you've experienced this, like, what's, what is it like, like, you know what I'm saying, I mean, she is old. She is 12 years old. So I do have to make a felt. I have to get a hold of her vet. They're closed today, so I got to get a hold of them Monday morning and do a follow up appointment for her. But I'm just happy she's home. She ate for me. She took her pills. And um, yeah, so I'm going to let her sleep and get a lot of rest in her new bed. Yeah, poor baby. But thank you for your prayers, guys. She is home. And that's that's the most important. She's comfortable and she's home. So we'll see how this journey goes. I think today we are supposed to make like our Thanksgiving dinner. Um, Brian still wants to do it. So that my house needs cleaned. And we're going to put our tree up today. But I got to get some kind of sleep because um, yeah, I'm starting to feel like crap. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you my little baby Aww. all right look guys it's a good package day though i got some good stuff in the mail and carolyn's funko came let me find a way to pull this out Hold this on. is it it is so cute i think hands down this is gonna be one of her favorite things ever i stalked the website and i got it um I got a couple other things I'll show you guys later though. So we're putting our Christmas stuff together. I probably won't go like in crazy detail. I'll just show you some of my favorite things. Um, this is like, no pun intended, Christmas morning all over again because I don't even know what Christmas stuff I have. <gasps> this cute little deer. I think I got that at five and below. This is my all time favorite. Like the theme I like to go with is gingerbread. Like a gingerbread house theme, like a baked goods. And I love these and I just poke them in my tree. I'm pretty sure I see a pumpkin in there. So we're not gonna put that up. Um, see, like favorite love. Um, I think this is when I got engaged. Ah! Yep. Now we need a married one. Oh, wow. Got these for Brian to put on his beard. Some bottle brush tree. This is a random assortment of stuff. She cute, though. Hey, look, Bill. Hold on. Found these for your beard. Got this little tree and it lights up. I got a pink one too. Brian got me a giant pink one, which I think I'm gonna put downstairs this year. Some Ray Dunn Christmas candles. Those are cute. These. Oops. Thank God I took like the more valuable things out that will break 
some of this, like I said, some of this stuff. Um, hold on, let me take these out. I like these. Uh -huh. They're pretty. The worst part about doing a tree is fluffing it, in my opinion. Yeah, flat part. It's, uh, <laughs> I wish that we could just pull it out and boom, it goes up. I don't know if this box was just, the one I just showed you guys was just random stuff, but I like the glitzy pink look. So, some of that. Why do we have this stocking? I don't know. <laughs> it's a flip one. I probably got it for Brian because, yeah. And then these are more special ornaments. These are from when Brian and I got our first house together. Oh, oh this is when we, yeah, we got Tasha, um, which you will see ornaments. This by far stands... I feel like ornaments are not as cute as what they were back then. Like at Target used to be elite for the ornaments, but this is my all-time favorite like one. They're like a dime a dozen now. Right? I don't know. Like they don't have cute ones like these yeah. anymore. I think I got this one at Target. It's one of my all-time favorites and I would cry. Well, I really wouldn't cry, but if I broke it. We have a ton of purple. <laughs> and then this one. These are super cute. Hold on, let me find, I got this, Brian got me one, but Secret Santa one year had got me one. I love this container too that you could put the ornaments in. Oh, spider. We gonna, I want to do something that's so inhumane. And then this one has the good stuff. I don't, apparently I go crazy on buying a stockings. Mm -hmm. I wanted, this was the first stockings we ever had with each other. And I don't even, I don't like them. But of course I can't part from them because they were our first ones. Brian has the dark blue. I have the purple. They're also, they're also like really small in my opinion. So I got him and I matching ones. I don't know if I got them last year or before, but I really like the buffalo check. And we have dog stockings, one for Tasha, Bailey, and then one for Coco. And they are just so precious. This is my favorite tree skirt. I love this. I got this on a really good sale. We went to like a Christmas tree place. So, love her. Don't know, like I said, don't know why I have so many stockings. And then this is the garland I put on our trees. Every year I seem to run into the dilemma. I have two different ones. And it's, this year will be the same because I will be like, Brian, how did we do this last year? So here's the garland. And then here's some more ornaments. That one's really cute. I think that one's Hobby Lobby. Ugh. Oh. Shoot, there's so many. There's some intertwined with that. Okay, so we love s'mores. So we have some really cute s'mores ones. What happened in 2012? We got our first place together, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. And Tasha. And Tasha. So 2012 was special. Um, like I said, Brian and I get each other ornaments every year. And um, apparently, I know I got you this one. The little drill. I tried to do the ribbon thing last year, like ribbon around the tree. I did not have no such luck, so I kind of gave up with that. But hold on. I have these really cute letters. Obviously, the T's Tasha's. But I have one for all of us. Got this key at Target. I remember this like it was yesterday. Some of these ornaments. But... Oh, we did get Tasha in 2012 because this is this was her ornament. Oh my god, how precious! Oh dang cute. I think did we get one for the rest of the dogs? No. No. Oh yeah, we got got an S. I put these in here real stupid. Oh, we have engagement ones. See, I forgot the 2020. Mm -hmm. But this year, like I said, I have a feeling people are going to get us a wedding one for Christmas. And if not, my aunt makes them. And I think my mom got one, for, bought one from her. This is so cute. My cousin makes ornaments with my aunt. So that's where we got that from. But... Yeah, this is everything. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to film putting the tree together. 
But as you can see, we go with a, Brian lets me do what I want. We go with a sweet theme. Sweet theme, pink and purple. That is what we do. And then you'll see some random oddball ornaments. You know what I kind of wanted to do? I looked at I kind of wanted to do, I'm not going to because it's going to be too messy, but that tinsel that you put on trees like the olden day, it's They're so messy. messy it never comes off. I know, but it looks beautiful though. It does look beautiful. We ain't doing it, but it does look beautiful. And I got some labels. I just bought a new thing of them, but you can never have enough. You can buy it. Yeah, that's some of our Christmas ornaments, guys. I think I might end my vlog here, and then, yeah. So thank you all for watching. I'll talk to you later. Brian, say goodbye. And then, <gasps> Tasha, she's tired. Yeah. And everyone loves Coco, too. And Bailey. So say bye, big girl. Say bye, big girl. I can't believe she's showing her face on camera as well as she is because she the second she knows mm -hmm. that... I don't get it. It's like... It's uh, yep. So, yes. Hold on. Bailey, come here. No, no, no. She was about to go eat her food. <gasps> hey, come here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Excuse you. Aw. All right. Bye, guys. So Brian made this. All props go to him because it's about to taste super, super good. He killed the Thanksgiving dinner, guys. And the turkey, people say it's dry. He don't make a dry turkey. 10 no, out of 10, no, baby. It's so simple. It's good. So far, she looking good. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's the little cuties. Just, just vibing. Precious. I don't know. Up top, it looked like um, uh, I said, it looks like it was like sleeping on that side. <laughs> I can't reach it.